In this design tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a bicycle logo. So hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to replicate this track bicycle logo. So I basically went online again to Shutterstock and I found some awesome inspiration from this logo over here and I'm going to replicate this today and show you guys how you can easily build something like this. Alright, so let's get started right away. First of all I'm going to create a new layer here which is going to be my first shield. So basically meaning we're going to just replicate this shape here build the shape and then also yeah kind of work on from there okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and as well as you guys can see I've already got some guides here in the center you can watch our tutorial how to work with actions then you can also quickly get some center uh, guidelines in your image I'm going to go up to the top move tool again and just drag down a new guide and I basically want to place this guide actually on the corners here of this shield so we can replicate exactly this shape okay I'm gonna go all the way down do the same here at the bottom okay and we're gonna do the same here in the center so basically for the inside okay so I know exactly where the inside is as well over here just for that okay now I'm gonna go over to these guidelines and just create this corner over here the same we're gonna do over here also if you see me moving around in the image just hold spacebar and don't forget you have to be in the full screen mode in order to do this Okay, the center I've got already, so that's fine. Yeah, that's basically all. Let's just zoom out a little bit again. Okay, and as well, now what I'm going to do is with the pen tool again, just going to create a path around this shape. Now, for those of you who don't know how to work with the pen tool, you can have a look at our pen tool tutorial. Okay, I'm going to put an anchor point right here on the left corner, then as well at the bottom, but I might first zoom out a little bit again. Pen tool again, going to select an anchor point down here and literally just drag my path out a little bit. So I'm trying to put the path exactly onto this shape. Okay, like so. Great, that works. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and hold Alt and select this little anchor point here which basically comes from our pen tool. And just go back to pen tool, hold Alt and move this all the way in. The reason why I'm pushing this out now is to just create an easier path now for the next step. So again, hold Alt select this anchor point and put it upwards so the new path goes into this direction up okay I'm going to zoom out a little bit more we need some more space for this pen tool anchor point over here and keep on holding just drag that out okay like so a little bit more and I'm just trying to put that path perfectly against the shape Okay, like so. I'm also doing this a bit quicker. Take your time when you do this. Now as well, take this anchor point here at the top, hold Alt again in the pen tool, move it all the way down. I'm going to zoom in, hold Alt, sample, pen tool first, now Alt, and again going into this direction. Okay, great. Let's zoom out again. Pen tool and last anchor point. Literally keep on holding and we're going to just create a nice path like so. Great. Super quick now ready we have our new shape over here. If I'm going to turn this off you guys can see the shield shape. Alright so first step that I want to do is press P again for pen tool. Hit right click and say here define custom shape. We've also created a tutorial recently about how to do your own custom shapes so have a look at that. Okay I'm going to write here shield and that's going to be our shield uh, shape that we just created great okay next step that I want to do now is on the shield layer actually fill the shield already so just hit right click again say fill this path and I think we're going to fill it with black so under the contents area just select here black and say okay great I also do want to hide now these outlines here they are a little bit irritating so I'm going to press command shift H if you are a Windows user please press control when I say command Okay, so we've got that now. What I'm going to do now is just take our layer 3 here. So the first, we can actually write here basic or our start, or whatever. So I'm going to take this layer and just move it to the side. So we can actually exactly build the same just over here. So we have like a reference image. Alright, so on shield, next step, maybe let's create all the... We're going to work with some shapes now and that will create a new layer anyways. So I'm going to press U on the keyboard. Um, you can also select the shape tool over here in your tools palette. So just go to custom shapes. 
All right, so under the custom shapes in the presets, I'm going to go and select my new shape now, which is basically all the way at the bottom. So I just went all the way down, and at the bottom I have my shield shape. Okay, great. So we can minimize this again. First of all, I'm also going to select now just the rough background color. So I'm going to go to fill. Okay, we're going to go to fill now, and it already has selected our background color. Let's maybe for the start just create a shape here. I'm just going to do a rough shape, and now I would should be able exactly now I'm able to also select a different color so you can either have no color black color or whatever you want to I want to have a full color and under the color picker here I'm going to choose again the background color hit OK and we can also close that so again I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and first of all I have to also place my shape now a little bit better so again what I'm going to do is just select the shape press command T and also just put that right away into the shape area here. So at the bottom, I'm having a look at that anchor point. Okay, that's set already, but it still doesn't fit with the top one. So I need to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, like so, a little bit more. And over there, now it's clipped. I'm going to accept that. In the Move tool, I'm just literally going to move this a little bit to the side. Okay, like so. Great. Let's zoom out again. And if you want to be completely sure, you can also take again your basic layer and just move that over again. Let's have a look here. We can actually turn off this shield layer. Maybe let's move that to the top. Okay, we can also dim that down a little bit so we can actually see where our new shape is. Let's turn all of that on again. Great, now I can see it. Okay, so I, this needs to go a little bit more to the side. So I'm going to take the move tool again and literally just move this up and down, up a little bit more, a little bit more down. There we go. Okay, great. So I'm going to use basic again, put it all the way to the bottom, move it out of the way, full opacity again. Okay, so that's already the first step, just creating here the background with the shape. I'm going to go back to view, say clear guides, and now we're going to start adding again the text. So first of all, I'm going to put the text tool over here. You can also find the text tool to select it from your tools panel. And I'm going to make a rough selection over here and just write track. Okay, you can also write whatever you want. I'm going to write track now. And as well, first of all, it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and I can't see it because it, the layer is underneath the shape. We need to move that one up. Okay, so I've still got the bicycle selected, which we're going to do in a moment. First of all, we want to write here just track in capital letters, please. Select all of it, and we're going to choose a different font. So I'm going to go with something called market let me just find it here so over here we go market deco you can also find more about this in the description down below okay I'm going to select it and first of all the font size is still way too small so I'm going to make it nice and big something like that okay and I'm also want to have a look here at the tracking so I'm going to go back to characters and if you can't find the character box in your palette please just go to window again and just tick here characters Okay, so under the tracking here, I want to check if I can just put the tracking out a little bit further. Okay, let's make our box a little bit bigger. Tracking a little bit more, or should we take it a little bit more in? I think in would look actually better as well. Well, minus 20. Let's just type here minus 20. That should work. Okay, so I'm going to accept that and move this just down a little bit. Now for the next step, again, a complete new layer. M for the marking tool. And we're just going to create like a little small line over here. If you want to, you can also move again over to your reference image. Again, M for marking tool. And literally just create this little gap over here. Create a nice selection around that. Hit right click and fill this up with black foreground color. So basically under contents again, just choose here black. OK. Command D, get out of the selection. We're going to zoom out as well. And just take with the move tool this all the way over. Okay, so this is clearly a little bit bigger than that is, but that's not a problem. We can just press Command-T. Let's first of all zoom in a little bit. Command-T, and you can just take this anchor point here and drag that out a little bit. Okay, accept that, zoom out, and move the line back in here. Okay, like so. Great, so that we already created. Now we can zoom out again. Now we need to add the bicycle. So is this super complicated? Do we need to work with shapes and create a complete new bicycle? No, there's actually a super simple trick. You can just take the text tool again, put a selection here. I'm gonna write I, and the I will be 
also a new font. So basically you can just go and select bicycle fonts. You can also find more about that on dafont.com or in the description down below. So that's really nice. You can already have here a super awesome high quality font from the font with the bicycle. How awesome is that? Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Like say around 45 pixels. Okay. And we can move this down a little bit. And there we go already. So super easy. And have a look. It's super high quality as well. You can scale it to any size you want. It's just amazing. Okay, so for the next step, again, text tool. And we're going to create again a new text over here. And first of all, I'm going to write here just bicycle. So again, I want to try to get into the same um, font that we have as from our reference image. So I'm going to write that point. You can't see it at the moment because it's way too big, I think, and it's still in the bicycle font. Yes. Let's just go and select our new or our most beloved font here, which is called Helvetica Neue. You can also find that in the description down below. Okay, so there we go. We already have that. And first of all, what I want to do is just change it here. Let's have a look. Not to ultra light, maybe also regular should be actually good enough. Maybe actually bold. Let's try the bold. Okay, that looks great. And I want to actually make this a bit bigger. So let's put this up a little bigger, but also go and change the tracking a little bit. Okay, so it's a little bit closer, like a minus 80 or so, minus 60, except that. I'm going to move that all the way in here as well. So it doesn't look exactly the same. So maybe let's try something different. I've actually got a different font for that. Let's select it again with just text tool, select all of it. And we're going to select a tool called Bebas Neue over here. You can also find that in the description. Great. And that looks way better already. So first of all, I'm going to take the tracking again and move that all the way out. Like so. We can actually make it a little bit bigger. So take the font size and just change it a bit. I'm going to change the tracking again a little bit. So this is obviously a bit of a creative approach. Play a little bit with this. Okay, I'm going to accept that and I'm pretty happy with that actually. So I'm going to select this font type. Let's maybe, I'm actually going to zoom out and have a look if it's balanced, if it feels right. Okay, I'm going to take the text tool again, select it again, and just put the tracking in a little bit. Say like to um, 60 or so. Okay, great. Move that in. Last step that I'm still going to do now is literally just create this little year down here. So create a new layer down here. We're also going to make a little bit of space here. We can also just type here line. Okay, let's just take two help lines from the top here. So one like that and a little one down here. You can also be a little bit more precise with the rulers if you want to. I'm not going to do that now. Maybe like so, one over here and one over there. Okay, take the pen tool again. Literally, I first have to change my foreground colors here. So I'm going to switch those back to black and as well I'm going to put an anchor point over here and here hit right click and say stroke path. So again it's going to stroke and I just want to have a pencil so it's just like a one or two pixels wide. Okay, going to select that, double escape, get out of that. We can also go to view and clear the guides again. So directly we have a nice solid very thin line. Press command J, duplicate that and we're just going to move that all the way down and we're going to work with them in a minute. Now what we're going to do is also take the text tool again, make a selection here, and I'm actually going to use a different year, so maybe 1860. Okay, select all of that, and again we're going to use our font Helvetica Neue. So pressing H on the keyboard brings you quicker to the fonts. So down here we have it, I'm going to select it, and as well I'm going to choose now a different font size here, so basically ultra light, or maybe just light for the start. Okay, so it's just a little bit thinner and as well the tracking, I want to put that very close to each other. Just for having a look, okay, that doesn't look too good, so let's maybe take it out again to like 100. I'm going to just type here 100, okay, for the tracking. And let's make that a bit smaller. Great, I accept that. And we can use that over here. So again, I want to place this somewhere in the center. Okay, now I still just need to take these lines here, line 1 and 2. I'm actually going to take line 2 at the moment, move that a little bit down. Okay, and select, basically go to Marking Tool, select all of it. 
like so, just going to create a rough selection here just around the lines. Select line layer number one, hit delete, and layer number two, hit delete. You guys can also see how that deletes the sides. Now with marking tool, I'm going to go over to this side, delete on layer two, delete on layer one. Command D, get out of the selection. Great, so now let's space stuff together in groups. So I'm quickly going to take this layer over here with the year. Okay, hold shift. So it's going to select line one, line two, and the year. Press Command G. Windows user, again, please use Control. And we're going to write here just maybe year. Okay, let's take the bicycle. Incorporate the text, the bicycle, and track. All of that together, either by holding Shift or just select Shift and select the top and bottom layer. Command G again, and just write here maybe the text. And lastly, we're going to take these two down here, Command G, and we're going to write shape again. So everything is sorted. When you come back in a year's time, you know where everything is. And you also know how you created this logo for yourself. Okay, basic, we can delete that. And this is how you create your logo. Okay, so that's basically all for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Share it with friends that could benefit from this. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye, guys.